want to eat? Well, I just got finished building and fine-tuning my uh, new manual tire changer. It slips into my receiver I have on the back here. I think you could use it on a pickup truck. Be pretty low to the ground, but just got a piece of quarter-inch plate cut in a six-inch diameter circle, uh, which isn't exactly circle, but it's close enough. This is a piece of, I think it's one inch. It's a piece of one inch uh, plumber's pipe, 18 inches long. And uh, I was gonna cut it down, but I think I'm gonna leave it long because it certainly helps. I just changed my, just took that tire off that wheel, which was a total pain in the ass because it was all, it's all rusted out and the tire's old. It was full of water and junk. But um, I got a piece of two by two square tubing, welded in an L, put a gusset in there, and I sent that piece of pipe all the way down and welded it to there to make it nice and stable. And I was jerking on it pretty good and nothing bent or anything. And uh, to break the bead, I made this. This is a piece of inch and a quarter plumber's pipe that slides over top of this. Got it upside down. Slides over top of that, and then uh, made a little bent a little piece of angle, welded onto this square tubing. I think this is an uh, inch and a half by inch and a half square tubing, and um, I had I have to put a bolt in the top, uh, and then uh, pretty much just pry down on the bead to break it all the way around, and flip the tire around, do the same, and I stuck my uh, Texas toothpick in the back of this piece of pipe to get leverage on that bead on that tire because uh, it was really on there so pretty much three eighth inch bolts everywhere quarter inch plate everywhere um, where I could get it and that little piece of angle bent that thing's got to be what I've from my trials and tribulations that thing's got to be at a little bit of an angle when it meets the tire so that it works its way towards the stays towards the rim um, that's pretty important. I had previously made a piece out of some, some smaller material. This is one by one and I had a piece of this goofy uh, square stock and I tried to use it and it just kept slipping off so I went back online and uh, and read on a post on somewhere that you need to have this this kind of a shape this is the best your best bet and I tr did, did the best I could to to bend it at a little bit of an angle to match the curvature of the rim. So, uh, and I, I, to pry on it, I had a piece of, uh, I had a piece of one by one by eighth inch, and uh, you can see what I did to it. I bent it pretty easily. So, I just scrapped that idea, went to a bigger size tubing uh, with a thicker wall and it worked beautifully so pretty happy with it I used to just change tires with uh, tire spoons but uh, now I have a removable apparatus it's a hell of a lot easier and the bar that I used a buddy of mine gave me this his this is from his Harbor Freight manual tire changer which he never uses and I ground a little bit off to make it a little bit easier cut down on that angle a little bit and uh, that's the t that's the end to put the tire on. This is the end to take the tire off. Yeah, I think I, I, you could make one of these pretty easily. It's n not much to it. Um, so, and there's a thousand videos on how to change a tire on YouTube. So there's no point. And I'm tired, and I don't feel like messing with it anymore. But I got a lot of tires coming up here soon, so I'm gonna have to uh, be putting this thing to work. I hope that six-inch circle is big enough for. Uh, it's big enough for that five lug and I measured a six lug and I think an eight lug rim will fit on there. I'm going to certainly have to make different holes for different bolt patterns and also drill more holes and slide this back and forth, uh, which is fine. I wanted to make it as versatile as I could. So, and then this piece, it's got a bolt slides in there to keep this from sliding up. But when you pry down on the tire, that thing wants to come up because it's so smooth. So. Anyway, if anyone has any questions, 
just let me know. Thanks for watching.